Lights Out for the Devil and Mr. O. It is later than you think. Turn out your lights now. We bring you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal, dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly so that if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly but sincerely to turn off your radio now. This is Mr. O. Arch Ogle. Nature Study is the title of our story, Nature Study. That's a charming pastime, the wonders of nature and all its infinite variety. But the most varied and fantastic subject of all, I think, is the nature of man and woman, the saint in them, the devil in them. And now, if you haven't already done so, turn off your lights for nature study. There we are. There we are where? Look about you. Oh, my goodness, it is beautiful, isn't it? I did not know this is where we were going. It's oh. like a canyon, isn't it? It is a canyon. A cleft in the rocks few people in this part of the country know. Well, I'm sitting down to rest my poor Oh, no, 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 no. No, Miss God, we must go on. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Where oh, are we going? Come now, come. Oh. On all our other Sunday nature study trips, I've never had such events. Because we've never walked so far before. Oh, right. Where is this you are taking us today, Mr. Anna? To Canada? <laughs> my dear friends and neighbors, we're exactly 15 miles from home. You could think we're out of this world. Yes. Even in the midst of the city's turmoil, one can find nature's true isolation. Well, where do we go from here? Uh, there's a little path down through the canyon. There we will find lichens of many varieties. Oh, my goodness, what's that? My dear. I know, I know. They are like little ferns in the rock. Excellent, oh. Mr. Kamalin, excellent. Oh, I remember from last week. Uh, you will note these scratches on the face of the rock. Oh. oh. Who did it? Not who. What? The glacier. Uh, what's the matter, Miss Garg? You, you seem displeased. All I want to say is this. Do you mean to say we came all this way by subway and streetcar and bus just to see some old rock scratches? Well, there isn't any place in the state that has a finer record of glacial action. How do you like that? I thought I was going to see flowers and then just scratches and rocks. Well, Miss Gard, Mr. Arno, he's a smart man. He knows Well, then that... maybe he knows I want to go home. I see you're tired. This is all there is to see. I'm starting back now. Oh, come on, Miss Wilkins. Let's get out of here. Find some real excitement. Well, I don't know. After all, Mr. Arno took all the time and come. What's that? Something up there. The rock. Look out. <laughs> Miss Wilkins. Miss Wilkins. She passed out, I think. You you all right? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Oh, oh see, she's all right. Miss Wilkins, are you hurt? Are you hurt? Oh, sure, sure. She just fainted. And no wonder all those rocks falling down. Let's we weren't hurt. You all right, Mr. Knight? Oh, sure, sure. We are all right. Nobody hurt the dog. Oh. Miss Wilkins, what, what's the matter? Under that rock. Legs. Who? Miss uh, God. It's Miss God. The rock. Oh, get him off. Get her out. Get her out. No, no, Miss Wilkins. Get her out. Oh, stay back. We'll get her out. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Come on. Come on. Get her up. Hurry. 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 Careful. I have the other one now. Come on. Now, one more. There. One more rock. One more rock. You hear that, Miss Wilkins? One more rock. I know she's dead. I know she's dead. I can't move. Lift more, Mr. Arno. Yes. I, 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 uh, oh, oh, girl. Oh, Miss Gard, there you are. No, no, wait, wait. Look. Miss Wilkins, be quiet. Miss Gard, she's still alive. Alive? But how can... Shh, shh, she's trying to talk. <clears throat> yes, yes, Miss Gard, I'm here. I'm listening. Uh, uh, yes, what is it? I, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't understand you, Miss God. What are you trying to tell us? Yes, yes, what, Miss God? What? I... I can't die without... 
Kelly. Darling, what? My, my husband didn't die hard to save. I, I killed him. Poison. I killed him. He's dead. You, you feel better now, Miss Wilkins? Oh, right. oh, don't try to get up. Just rest. Rest. A few minutes more or less won't make any difference. Now. Mr. Arnold. Uh, yes, Mr. Kamara. I have been sitting here. I have been trying to figure it out in my head. Why is it? Well, there must have been a fissure in the rocks. The action of frost and rain loosened them, and perhaps the vibration of our No, horses. no, I'm... I'm thinking, why should it hurt her, not us? Well, I guess that's what you'd call fate. Do you think... Did she really kill her husband, like she said? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about her except she was a neighbor. Yes. Yeah. She lived in our building for a whole year already. I really don't know about her. I know. You, Miss Wilkins? Tell us, please. She, she told me she used to sing in a nightclub. So? Really? Well, one morning she wasn't feeling good. She came down to my apartment. I guess she felt like talking. She told me she used to work in this nightclub, and then she married this rich fellow, lots older than she was, lots of money, and she married him, and she didn't like him very much, and all of a sudden he died. Oh. Did she... Did she tell you that there was anything unusual about his death? No. She just said all of a sudden he died. Like poison? Oh, what are we sitting here for? Let's get out of here. Quick, let's get out yes, of here. Yes, yes, Mr. Arnold, why do you sit there? Lead us the way out. Mr. Arnold, what's the matter with you? Why do you sit there looking at us... I... I didn't want to say anything before. Say what? Say what? I went over there, the only way out of the canyon. The rocks have blocked it off. <gasps> I'm very much afraid we can't get out. It's no use talking to me, Mr. Arnold. But it's so dangerous. Dangerous? What is dangerous? I climb up, the rocks are like stairs. I pull up over the top and I am off. Oh, but I insist it's dangerous. That tumble of rocks. Miss Wilkins, am I not right? Well, we just can't wait in here forever, and I'm sure that Mr. Kamara knows what he's doing. That is a very smart girl. Look at that wall. It is nothing. Oh, but oh, I... Oh, you don't worry, Mr. Arnold. I told you the rocks along here like steps. I climb up and I go and get help, and soon I have you out of here. All you do is to help me up that first rock. Well... All right, if you insist. Sure, oh. sure. <clears throat> put your hands together in a grip. Like that. That is right. I put my foot in your hand and you push up and give a boost, right? Yes. All right. Hold your hands down. All right. I get my foot. <clears throat> now, lift. There we go. There. I am up. So, well, I'm up here already. The rest of the way to climb is easy. What did I tell you? Uh, be careful, Mr. Kamaran. Here I go. He is very strong, isn't he? Uh, uh, what did you say, Miss Wilkins? He is very strong, isn't he? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, careful of loose rocks, Mr. Kamaran. I am all right. Test every handhold. Those rocks are loose. He'll get us out of here. I know he will. Yes, yes, he will. He... He's up so high. Oh, yes, yes. I... I just can't watch anymore. Well, he... He only has a few more feet to go, and... He'll be over the edge. You're... You're doing very well, Mr. Kamaran. Sure, I told you. Your Kamaran, he always stones... Mr. Kamaran, what... What's the matter with him? I, what? I don't know. He suddenly stopped talking. He isn't moving. Mr. Kamaran, what is the matter? Mr. Kamaran! My arm... Cramp. I can't hold... A cramp in his arm. Oh. Uh, hold on, Mr. Kamaran. I'll try to get up to you. Don't let go. I'll try Please to... let go! Mr... Kamaran. Mr. Kamaran. Dead. No, 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 I, I don't think so. He, he lifted up his head. Oh. Mr. Kamaran, what? I, I couldn't hold on. Don't 
don't know. No. Listen. I don't tell you. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm listening. I... All broken. We'll be dead. Oh. We'll be dead. Oh. Can't die without telling. <laughs> when I was boy, Celia went hunting with my brother. He never came back. They thought he ran away. Not truth. I wanted his knife. <laughs> so I killed him. I killed him. Buried him. I killed my brother. Miss Wilkins, are you hiding? Miss Wilkins, you shouldn't have run away like that. You shouldn't. We'll work something out together. We'll get out of here. Oh, there you are. Why did you hide back here? Nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing. You wrong. You wrong. What? I'll never get out. Never, never, never. But why should you say that? This cannon is well known. Sooner or later, at any moment, someone will come along and see us down here. No, never, never, never. Now, that's no way to talk, Miss Wilkins. They are dead, aren't they? Aren't they? Don't think of them. i got to think of them. They're me. Me. What are you talking about? You think I haven't got a brain in my head. You think I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I do. I always do. I let everybody think I'm a fool, but I know more than you or anyone. And I know why they died, I know. Miss Wilkins, I don't I'm know... I'm telling you. Listen to me. I'm telling you. I know why they died. Yes, of course. It was actually... Well, you listen to me. All right. Miss Guard died. And he committed a murder. Yes. And Mr. Kamarin died. And he committed a murder. Well? That's why I won't get out of here alive. I committed a murder, too. I committed a murder, too. That's... That's unbelievable. (laughs) Oh, you're you're just saying things. No, no, not true. But you? Where? How? (laughs) Married. All I wanted to do was get married. What? Mary Jane Ellis, we'd gone to school together. The same room in college, the same room when we came here to go to work. Always together. My best friend, everyone said my best friend, up from Joe. I met him first, then she met him. She said she didn't like him, but I knew she did. She did. At the party, I came into the room. His arms had been around her. I knew they had. He couldn't fool me. She couldn't fool me. It was, it was her fault, not his. My best friend. Joe was for me, not for her. He was thinking about her. He kept on thinking about her. Pretty, all right, she was pretty, but he was for me, for me. The night I lied there thinking that she was dead. If she was dead, she had to be dead. She had to be dead. Miss <laughs> Wilkins, for five years, I've known you for five years. What you're saying isn't true. I know it isn't. Your mind, all that happened, you, you couldn't really... Shut up, Blast you, shut up! Oh, all right, Miss Wilkins. You listen to me. I killed her. I killed her with poison. And I'm going to die the way they did. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. You're out of your mind. Now I know exactly what I'm saying and doing. Do you know how long I've waited for this moment, Mr. Arno? Five years. Five years. Every night for five years. Every time I was alone in the dark, I've been waiting for this moment. I don't have to wait anymore. Well, why not? Because it's here. Who? It's here in the canyon. Uh, waiting. Waiting to kill me. There's no one here but you and me. They knew. Now I know. Well, I tell you, there's no one in this canyon but the two of us. And their bodies. What? What's over there? Huh? 
Oh, nothing but the, the shadow of a rock on the canyon wall. Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. What are you talking about? Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. I see it plainly. It, it is a shadow. Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. Why do you keep saying that? coming closer. The, the the sun is getting lower in the sky. If it touches me, I'll die. Don't say that. The way they die. Stop talking nonsense. Get you out of here. Someone will come along. Up there. Is there anyone up there? We're, we're down in the canyon. Get us out of here. Now, you, you just sit there and relax until summer. Miss Wilkins. Miss Wilkins. What? Poison. You killed yourself. Why? The shadow. Yes. Touching you. Only a shadow. But is it? Someone, someone get me out of here. Get me out of here. There, there we are. You lie there, Mr. Kamar. Miss Wilkins, Miss Guy, and now you, Mr. Kamar. Now. All of you lie there and listen to me. It is getting quite dark. And while it's still light enough so that I can see you, I... I want to talk to you. Dead as you are, I've got to find something out. Listen to the wind. It has just come up. The wind. It moans around the rocks, but... I, I'm not moaning. You, you hear that, Miss Wilkins? I'm not. I'm just talking to you reasonably. It's been so many hours, and yet you hear I'm talking reasonably. Please, please understand, my friend. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I took you to Hidden Canyon to show you the lichens and the glacial action on the rocks. I didn't want you to die. And that's what I've got to talk to you about. Dead as you are. Why did you die? It was all quite accidental. Wasn't it, Miss Guard? Answer me, Miss Guard. The rocks that crushed you, all quite accidental. It wasn't because you had committed a murder, was it? All quite accidental. Wasn't it, Miss Guard? Wasn't it, Miss Guard? How strangely my voice echoes between the rock walls. Uh, I will talk to you, Mr. Kamal. You climbed up the rocks. A cramp in your arm. You couldn't hold on any longer. You fell. That was all accidental, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Hmm. There's no reason for me to shout like that. Is there? How quiet it is. And dark. For years, I've, I've never been in the dark. At night, all, all the lights on in my house. I even sleep with a light on in the room. Never been in the dark for years. I'm in the dark at last. Alone. The three of you are dead. And so I... I'm alone. Oh. oh, a bird. An owl. Yes, of course, an owl. Hmm. Miss Wilkins, you shouldn't have taken that poison. You should have stayed alive to, to talk to me. As long as there's someone to talk to. But when there's no one but the dead, that's a frightening thing. And I don't like the dark. And now I'm in the dark, alone. That's a frightening thing, yes. Oh. Your faces. Why do I 
see your faces. Oh. The moonlight. How quickly the moon lighting your face. Yes. I... I don't think I'm going to look at you. I'm going to sit here all through the night. My eyes closed. Yes. I will. I will. light against my eyes? I know it. All right. I will open my eyes. Moonlight. So bright. Filling the canyon. The walls. So very bright. Shadow. Shadow on the wall. Moving along the wall. Shadow of what? Miss Wilkins. You said the shadow, Miss Wilkins. You, you... You're smiling. Mr. Kamarin. You, you too. Miss God. All of you smiling. Is it the moonlight or are you... Really smiling. Why are you smiling? Why? All right. I know. You know. All right. My eyes are open. And when the shadow touches me, when the shadow touches me, who, who, who? who killed his brother, Miss God who killed her husband, Miss Wilkins who killed him. Yes. yes, I'm down here. Come and get me. I've waited for you for 15 years. I murdered my wife. You hear me? I murdered my wife. Broadcasting System.